Sorry for the interruption. If you were watching live with us a minute ago, we're back on and we'll be on for the rest of the time. Um, we're here today, I'll just reiterate, making some Mother's Day gifts and we're really excited about it. There are these homemade diffuser necklaces. If you're a mom and you're watching with us today, we'd love for you to comment um, down below. Tell us where you're from. Tell us a little bit about yourself. We're excited that you're here with us. So this is a really quick and easy thing, but it's going to be really fun for the people that you love in your life. You could even be making one for yourself. This is DAS um, molding clay, so DOS, however you want to say it, and it's just the air drying kind. You're going to want this. You're going to want some lava beads, water. Um, we've got some, this is a little salt shaker cap, but you can use a bottle cap, um, any kind of lid that you'd like, a straw, string or cord of your choice. We're using hemp cord and a rolling pin, and then you're going to want some stamps. Ink stamps will do just fine. We're actually using the tops of our oil bottles, and we've just uh, put some little gemstones in there that will make impressions in the clay because that works for us. But you're welcome to use anything that will make an impression on the clay. So again, this is going to be really quick and easy, but it's a wonderful diffusing necklace that is homemade, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be not only a sentimental homemade gift, but also the benefits of a diffusing piece of jewelry that you can take with you everywhere will continue to give all year long. So we're going to take this piece of clay, and I've just got this bowl of water, and you just want a very small amount, and you're just going to wet it a, a bit. And you'll see that this will get a little bit messy. It doesn't stain, so don't worry about that. And the great part about getting the air drying kind is that you won't have to bake it at all. And so I'm just working the water into the clay. If you've used this kind of clay before, please let us know. Tell us what you made in the comments. We'd love to read about that. Or if you've made your own um, diffusing jewelry before, tell us about that too. This is actually our first experience with this. So we'd love to hear from you. And then I'm just going to move that out of the way. You'll see it's red, but again, it won't stain, so don't worry about it. And then I'm going to take this rolling pin, and I'm just going to roll it out. And as you do this, you're going to need to use some force. I went to the gym yesterday just for this. And make sure that you get it to the thickness of about where you want it. Um, you can get this clay on Amazon or at craft stores. It's DAS clay, D-A-S. And make sure that you get the air drying kind. It's pretty inexpensive. We got about two pounds of it for, I think, $8. Um, and again, you're going to want to make it about the thickness. Picture this medallion. So whatever you want, the thickness, you'll have to excuse my red hands. Um, Whatever thickness you want for the end product, make it similar because it actually won't shrink very much as it dries. So I've made this a little bit thinner than the previous one. This one we made a couple days ago. I like the thickness, but I want to try a thinner one today. So I'm just going to roll it out a, a little bit more. And then for me, this is entirely up to you, but I like to stamp before I cut out the shape. Simply because as you stamp, it will put the pressure will flatten out the clay a little bit more. And that I don't like when the perfect circle gets too flattened for me. So I stamp previous prior to um, making the circle. Again, you can cut out your circles using your lid and then stamp afterwards. And I'm just going to do one of each. And then I'm going to use a salt shaker lid and just go over the area that I stamped and cut it out. Depending on the size that you'd like your necklace to be, you can use a smaller lid. We also have this little size option, so I'll use this for the flower and for the heart. And then just like cookie dough, go ahead and peel the excess away. And then I'm going to roll it up for future use. And you've got these great little stamps. I don't know if you can see. Maybe we can get a little bit of a zoom in on these stamps. And I'm going to want to just leave them for a second because they're so wet right now. But then I'm taking a toothpick just to pry them off of the surface so I can show you. And you'll just be really careful. The fun thing about toothpicks too and the fact that this clay is so moldable is that you can personalize it by maybe writing in a, an initial or drawing a pattern of your own. And then you can use some more of this water to smooth out the edges when you're done. And really just shape this to be very personal in whatever you want it to be. And you'll see I'll put it on the back here so it's not so red. 
We've got the beginnings of a medallion here. And then you're going to want to take the straw and we're just going to punch a hole at the top. So if you can see what's happening here, punch a hole through the medallion. Make sure to leave some space at the bottom and at the top. And this is where our string is going to go through. So make it pretty large. If you have any problem with that, you can definitely use the toothpick. Go back in, make it larger, and then just set it aside. Because these smaller medallions have a little bit less space, I'm going to use the toothpick instead of the straw, and just move it in circular motions until I've got a pretty good sized hole. The packaging will tell you that it takes about 36 to 48 hours to dry. We just left ours overnight and that worked perfectly as well, so maybe make them before dinner and go ahead and finish out the rest of your evening the way you normally would, and by morning they'll be done. And then you'll go ahead and you'll take this cord and slip it through the knot. So I'll show you on our finished product. You'll just slip it through the little hole that we punched with the straw or with the toothpick, and then with both sides of the cord, go through one of these beads. So I'll just demonstrate. You take both ends of the cord and slip it through the hole of one of the lava beads. One thing that we used and found really useful for this part is if you have a thicker string like what we did, just tape the ends together, twist them together, and then use just some, some of the clear scotch tape, and that will help it go through the bead a lot easier. Um, I would just suggest buying some thinner cord. It looks really pretty whether you use thick or thin. And the reason that we're using these lava beads is because they hold the essential oils really well. They're porous, you'll see. You can also buy these on Amazon. They're also inexpensive. I think they're about $5 for a whole string of beads. So we got all of these on one string. And then you can just go ahead and pick an essential oil um, to put on. So while I am doing the rest of these and putting them together, Go ahead and comment whether you'd like us to use grapefruit, lavender, or lime essential oil on our lava bead, and we will, we will finish up our necklaces based on what you ask us to do. So while we're waiting for that, let me just go over some of the tips that will help you a little bit. Um, use a wood cutting board or a tile like this. This tile for us worked really well. And when you wet the clay, just wet it a little bit because... Um, as you can see now, these are really sticky and difficult to come up, but that one was easy because it was a little bit less wet. There we go. And another thing that we did is when we were finishing these medallions, we paired them with some shower melts. So these are my finished medallions. You've got this flower one here, this heart one here, and again, you can get those just by stamping whatever you'd like. We finished off our Mother's Day gifts by making some shower melts. They're in the DIY downloadable kit from the holiday collection. You can find that on the website. We'll also have it linked in our blog and on our YouTube and on Facebook once we're done with this. Um, and we put it in this really cute tumbler. You can find this on oillife.com as well. And it just really finishes up the gift. You can attach the necklace. I'm just going to wrap it up a few times using my hand and put it over the straw like so, and it makes this really cute put together gift that will spoil the mom or the loved one in your life, yourself even, if that's what you would like. And the water bottle, this little tumbler, is also um, glass, so it's very safe for diffused oils. Uh, you can put lemon or whatever it is that you like to infuse your water with, whatever essential oil, that will be safe in the tumbler because it is glass and it will hold it well. Okay, so it seems that you voted for our lavender oil to be put on the necklace. So I'm going to take our finished one and infuse it with lavender. And some lucky mom is going to get that along with our whole little Mother's Day spa package. So that's what we have for you. We're going to set these, little, these other medallions, the ones that we've made today, to dry, and they should be done by tomorrow. We'll infuse them with lavender as well. Thank you for participating and making that choice for us. This is a really fun project. Please let us know if you have any questions. And again, make sure to look out for our Mother's Day sales this weekend and for the announcements in the newsletter tomorrow. We'll see you soon.